What's up you guys? Breaking news here on the channel once again. So, a big move. A big news story. Uh, because one of the big arms, the biggest arm, arguably, out there on the free agent market, Max Serger, he's off the board. Where is he going? Well, he's going to New York. Not the Yankees, the Mets. Yes, the Metropolitans have signed Max Serger to a three-year, 100 in $30 million contract, according to John Heyman in multiple reports. So here's an article from Bleacher Report. It says, report, Max Serger, Mets, finalizing three-year, $130 million contract with MLB record average annual value. The article says, quote, Max Serger is on the move after reportedly agreeing to a free agent deal with the New York Mets. Per John Heyman at MLB Network, the Mets will pay Serger $130 million over three years. Andy Martino of SNY noted the deal has an opt-out after two seasons. Is it a player? Is it a club? We don't know yet. The average of $43.3 million per season would set a new MLB record, topping Garrett Cole's mark of $36 million per year. Um, Serger split last season between the Washington Nationals and LA Dodgers. Like he was brilliant for both teams. I mean, he was, I think, like undefeated with the Dodgers during the regular season. So he was great when he came over uh, to L.A. from our nation's capital. So let's quickly go over Max Serger's stats last season, and this is what they were. He had a record of 15-4. He had an earn run average of 2.46 in 100 in 79 and one-third innings pitched to go along with 200 in 36 strikeouts which was fourth most in all of baseball last year. Now, the strikeout leaders in all of MLB included this top four. Max Serger coming in number four with 236. Number three, Garrett Cole, 243. Zach Wheeler, number two, 247. And number one, Robbie Ray with 248, the Cy Young winner in the AL. Now, to be more specific, and when it comes to Mad Max, if you want to look at league by league, he was second in strikeouts in the senior circuit last year behind Zach Wheeler with those 236 Ks. So obviously a top two pitcher in the National League and in the top five uh, in all of baseball. So, I mean, he's a bulldog, you know that. He shows up in the World Series. Uh, he shows up no matter what you can remember. Back in 2019, he showed up with uh, you know neck spasms, I think, in the World Series against the Astros, and he was brilliant uh, to help uh, the Nationals clinch that World Series against the Cheaters. And lastly, I want to take a quick look at the advanced stats uh, for Mr. Max Serger. Now, he was above average in walk percentage in the 92nd percentile. Whiff rate was also at the 92nd percentile, and K rate was in the 96th percentile, while he was in the 82nd percentile in hard hit rate. So it's obvious that Max Serger's uh, standard stats, I guess you could say, um, are brilliant, but also his advanced stats show up as well and prove that he is a top two pitcher in all of baseball, in my opinion. Now, with this deal in place, let's take a look at what the Mets' potential rotation will look like here in 2022. Okay, so number one would be DeGrom, number two would be Serger, number three would be Carrasco, number four would be Tyler McGill, number five would be David Peterson or Marcus Stroman if they re-sign him, and that's a pretty damn good rotation. Now, of course, Noah Syndergaard, you know, signed with the Angels, but could you imagine if he did not sign with the Angels and he came back to New York? The rotation would be DeGrom, Serger, Carrasco, and Syndergaard, a lethal four-headed monster, but still a pretty nice three-headed monster right here, I will say. So, that's really all I got uh, for today's video. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below on this deal. Hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, I'll catch you guys later.